Hello everybody. So today we're going to look at Fourier integral. Okay, we have learned in our previous slide regarding Fourier series. Okay, Fourier series are useful for representing function defined on a finite interval for a periodic function. Okay, so let's say you have a periodic function. Okay, defined on a finite interval. Let's say from 0 to pi from minus pi to pi and so on so you can use Fourier series okay but now we are looking at Fourier integral where you have a non-periodic function and the function is defined on an infinite interval okay so, uh, the definition for Fourier integral is uh, given by fx equals to from 0 to infinity a omega cos omega x plus b omega sine omega x d omega. So, this is Fourier integral definition where I will say that your a omega is given by 1 over pi from minus infinity to infinity fx cos omega x dx and b omega is given by 1 over pi from minus infinity to infinity, fx sine omega x dx. Okay, this um, omega here is known as the frequency. Okay, so um, let's look at one example here. Okay, so example. Find the Fourier integral for the following function. fx equals to from 1, 0 if modulus of x less than 1 and this is otherwise. Okay, so to do this, let's look at the definition. So we need to find a, um, a omega. We need to find a omega. So a omega is given by 1 to pi from negative infinity to infinity fx cos omega x dx. Okay, so we're looking at this interval here, which means that for... Um, x greater than 1, the answer will be always 0, the function, I mean my fx, my, yeah, my, my fx, so, for x greater than 0, what happened here, my fx is 0, for x less than 1, okay, modulus, Less than 1 means x in between this interval. Okay. So, the answer is fx is 1. Okay. And anything in between, we don't know. So, we have to, we have to find that answer now. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do here, we want to solve this integral, okay? So, just putting on the function here will give you negative infinity to infinity fx. So, my fx is 1, okay? So, obviously, we cannot do 0. We cannot integrate 0. So, I'm going to just look at this interval here. Okay, so we have cos omega x dx. Okay, remember, my fx is 1 here. Okay, so... um. What, what we do here, so we can um, integrate this, okay, if we look at the um, 
interval here so we know that for x is 1 the interval is x from minus 1 to 1 so I'm gonna look at from minus 1 to 1 where um, cos omega x dx okay I hope you are with me okay so the change of integral happened here because we're looking at this interval okay now this is said cos is an even function so even function so what do I have 2 over pi 0 to 1 cos omega x dx so we have 2 over pi uh, integrate cos will give me sine omega x over omega from 0 to 1 so 2 over pi sine omega over omega minus 0 so therefore I will have 2 sine omega over pi omega okay this is my a omega now I need to find b omega so b omega is given by 1 over pi from minus pi to pi fx sine omega x dx okay my fx is 1 and the integral looking at is from minus 1 to 1 sine omega x dx okay this is 0 because this is an odd function sine sine is an odd function so b omega will give me 0 Okay, now what we have here, we have, we want to find the Fourier integral. So the Fourier integral is given by this definition. 0 to infinity, A omega cos omega x plus B omega sine omega x d omega. So this part here is 0. So we are left with 0 to infinity. A omega where we have obtained 2 sine omega over pi omega cos omega x d omega okay so now all we got to do is find the solution of fx here okay this is gonna be a little tricky so let's let's um, remove the constant so I want to write this as 1 over pi from 0 to infinity 2 sine omega cos omega x d omega over omega now if you recall the product sum of a trigonometric function is given by this 2 sine x cos y is given by sine x plus y plus sine x minus y okay this is the product sum of a trigonometric function and i didn't make them up this is one of the um, identity formula okay so i'm really going to change this thing over here so we have fx equals to 1 over pi 0 to infinity so this will become sine omega plus omega x plus sine omega minus omega x over omega d omega. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to investigate the integral of x. Okay, we want to find the value of this uh, first we want to find when what happened when x equals to 1 okay the next and then we want to find that um, if x is greater than 1 and obviously when this is less than 1 so when what's the possible solution so look at x equals to 1 first so for x equals to 1 we have fx equals to 1 over pi 0 to infinity 
sine omega plus omega my x is 1 plus sine omega minus omega over omega d omega 1 over pi from 0 to infinity sine 2 omega this is 0 here over omega d omega okay now this is what we call Richelieu integral integral which is given by 0 to infinity sine x over x equals to pi over 2. I mean, I, to explain this will take another like um, 10 minutes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just assume the solution at the moment. But you can, you can just Google, virtually integral and find the whole solution for this. So just writing out this one, pi over 2. So this will give me half. So now we have obtained for x equals to 1, the solution is half. Okay, so let's look at x greater than 1. Okay, we want to look at uh, one possible. So how to do this? How do you find um, x greater than 1? It's very easy. Because our definition here says that Look at earlier on. Is zero. When x greater than one is zero. So we don't have to find. You don't have to find. And trust me, even if you find, you will end up getting zero. Okay, so x equals to one. My fx is zero. Okay, you can you can you can um, integrate this similarly. Okay, pick up a value. Let's say, okay, I want to show this. I want to show this. So, to show this, fx equals to 1 over pi, 0 to infinity, sine, let's pick up x equals to 2, okay? So, we have w plus 2, uh, omega plus 2 omega, plus sine omega minus 2 omega, over omega, d omega. Okay, so we have 1 over pi from 0 to infinity sine 3 omega plus sine negative omega over omega d omega. Now remember, our sine is an odd function. Okay, so because it's odd function, negative, we can bring it out. We have sine omega. Now this is what we have. Okay. D omega. So this gives me 1 over pi, carry it around, 0 to infinity, sine 3 omega over omega, d omega minus 0 to infinity, sine omega over omega, d omega. Then by the Dirichlet integral, we know that this is pi over 2. This is also pi over 2. So pi over 2 minus pi over 2 is 0. Okay? So we don't have to find it. Now what we are worried now is to find x is less than 1. Okay? But at, for x is less than 1 or modulus x less than 1, the fx is 1, which is also given by the condition above. Okay? From our question. So I can I can show it quickly. There you go. When when x modulus x is less than one, my fx is always one. So therefore we have obtained the solution for this is given by okay, so what I want to do, I just got a summary, summarize everything that we have obtained. So we have fx which is equal to by 2 over pi, 0 to infinity, sine omega, cos omega x over omega d omega, given by 1, half, and 0. This is for x less than 1, x equals to 1.